I'm Todd Grisham, and there's nothing quite like the Empire Fight Camp, especially at night. It's the Dark Destroyer. Not this bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the... Lots of hype as they will fight into the... Night. And there's the bell to start the round. Miss with that jab. Both men step back for just a moment. Good defense on that left hook. They'll be fighting under the lights tonight. What a unique environment as we get set for this high-energy showdown. These fighters are about to block themselves off. I say, right, that's it. Keep out of it. Now it's fight time. The whole bell ever has been waiting for this to This is it. This is it. straight left. This has been a very competitive round as we reach the midway point. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them. More than happy. Good right cross. The perfect counter lands. I thought we were going to... Corner's got the tower. They're going to throw it in. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. They're in trouble. Let's talk about Roy Jones in that last round. Pretty dumb. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. <laughs> Has to be careful for that receipt. It's always coming. Ooh, that overhand got him clean. This counter puncher is going to wait for you to move first and then will strike like a snake. Keep an eye on this guy. They have got great ring IQ. Counter punches are the best. Skill being displayed here between these two middleweights. Every time they drop their guard, they get caught. These two fighters are made for one another. Maybe I'm crazy, Johnny, but this slugger's game plan appears to be hit me in the face as many times as you want, and right when you get tired of it, I'm going to catch you with a counter and knock you out. The corner's got to take a good look at their fighter. Oh, and that changes everything. And down they go. One, two. been all one-way traffic with just 10 seconds to go in the round. Let's talk about Roy Jones in that last round. What a huge momentum swing that's going to be considering that round will be 10-8 after the knockdown. Can make or break a fighter.
They ring the bell, and here we go. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that, that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full bow because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. You can't throw out a lazy jab in this fight. You're going to get knocked out. for defensive abilities. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's got the advantage halfway through the round. Showing a lot of heart to beat the count there. What resilience to be down and to be back up again, to get yourself back into the fight again, to show your fitness and determination, maximum respect. What now, what's the referee thinking right now? Why weren't they more cautious? So the referee says he can continue, but how much more does he have left? He's up, but, but for how long? Look at her. On the heels. Look at her. There's nothing there. There's no A very competitive round. Well, the corner has thrown in the towel, and that will do it. The fighter not happy, but those are the rules. And that will do it. This fight is over. They have given up. They don't like that. Listen to that. Oh, listen to that. When he gets back to the gym, his team is going to give him hellfire. This is what you work on as a fighter. 